Fans of the Horus Heresy, Miniature Wargaming and Not Going Down in One Shot, thank you very much for joining me for an out of the pack review of the Wound Trackers by Lasercut Architect. One of the things I picked up at the Derby World's game show was this intriguing little set of models. Well, I say picked up, the people at Lasercut Architect threw this in as a freebie when I bought the defensive wall and bunker set that I've done a separate review on. I spied these and I thought they were a great looking idea. And very simply, what you've got is you've got a dial that tracks number of wounds. What caught my attention is the fact that as someone who plays you know, a lot of war games with large units, you know, monstrous creatures, robots, walkers, titans, tanks, they normally have some sort of damage systems and they can take more than one point of damage. And you need to track the damage between turns as the game progresses to record if that unit's going to get knocked out or not. And particularly with the advent of 8th edition Warhammer 40,000, which has done away with the old vehicle system and reintroduced the wound system of the original Rogue Trader game from 1987, I saw a real use for these. What they allow you to do is you've got, I think you got small 1 to 10s, and then you've got a larger 1 to 10, a small, in effect, 1 to 100, and a large 1 to 100. For someone who's got Titans in their armory, I can really see a purpose for these. I don't know what these cost because they got thrown in for free. I think they might be in five quid. I'll put the price in the description. I can't remember off the top of my head. So what we're gonna do is we'll open it up and we'll see what these are like. Okay. What do we get? So we get a bag with a set of wound trackers in. So these are pre-built. That's quite nice. This, so this is unusual for laser cut terrain. It's, it's ready to roll. Let's drop the camera down a spot. Very good. So the, oh yeah. So it's, it's like a double disc. It's got a central part and then a dial. And pardon the lighting. It's a little bit overcast today. But you can rotate this. So this actually goes from one to all the way up to 10, or all the way up to nine, or one to zero. So I guess you could say in effect, it's one to 10. Hmm, I wonder if these are stuck together. No, they're not, okay. So there you go, it's very simple operation. You've got a boss inside and then it supports a cog which tracks the damage. And there you go, you can see the actual thing in its full glory. These are supplied unstuck. <laughs> unstuck. I guess that's nice because you can leave it with the wounds on the face up or you could flip it over and write on whatever you want to track on that side or you've always got the other side as well. And I guess you could paint these, you could put a unit ID on them, couldn't you? That's quite neat, yeah. There we are. So we get one, two, three, four, five that track one to 10. So those are ideal, I guess, for a hero's smaller dreadnoughts. So standard Space Marine Castroferum dreadnoughts, those are perfect for that. And then we get these, you get a large one here now. Let's, uh, so that goes up to 10 again. So you got one, two, three. Yep. Again, it's not stuck together. And then we get these smaller ones. So these got two attachments. And here, I mean, what can you go? So you've got, you've got the window is central amount as opposed to at the top. And you go zero, one, two, three, four, all the way up to zero again. And the same on that side as well. They've got a decent amount of resistance these. They're not too hard to turn, but they're not too loose. I think probably sticking them you can make them just that a little bit firmer so they're not too slippy. I suppose, actually. Now let's just think about this. I'm not going to do it with that one. But let's just take this top off. Yeah, you see, you've got the reverse side of the dial. What you could do is you could mark your own uh, tracking unit, shall I say, or your own currency of damage, or whatever you wanted to monitor onto that and then use them in that way. And I suppose laser cut architect could do to increase the versatility of these even more, and this is a dead easy thing for them to do, is simply put a hole on the other side and they could do a double-sided print. You can make them a bit fluffier, can't you? Just having a quick go at turning them all. Just realized I got them all out and I hadn't done that. 
one's a bit stiffer. But oh yeah, just loosen that, that's fine. Yeah. And then that one turned fine. So with this you can record up to 100 wounds. Thinking 40k, that will cover all the way up to Warlord Titan, which has 70 wounds. Great idea that. Now, what are these? This little bag of bits. Mm -hmm. Up, what are they? I think these are spare connectors to go in them. I wonder if that is if you open them and close them several times, the chance you could scuff the MDF and you might not be able to get it back together. I think they might have given those as insurance against that. There's, there's no instructions in there to say what the force specifically. So there you go. A novel little gaming aid and I think quite a neat one really. It's a timeless marker system as well. I think this design has got a certain timeless quality to it because you're always going to need to track wounds on something, particularly in the sort of gaming I'm talking about. I've seen wound counters come and go over years which have been tailored towards particular games and they, yeah, they look good but they may get outdated by later rules additions where I think these have got longer lasting appeal. I'm just thinking up the pros and cons. I mean I've got some skull tokens by Litco who are based out in the States. A little acrylic red skulls are really nice now. I've used them for a while. I found those worked really well when I was doing Horus Heresy gaming for tracking wounds on small models, you know, which maybe had one, two or three. But when you got a tank, a big tank, I, I found that I had a big pile of skulls beside it and it made it, it was a bit more clunky to deal with in combat because if you're moving, sometimes one of them might fall off, one of them might disappear down a track. You might just lose track of how many wounds you've got. Whereas this, as long as you, everybody plays fair, is a more compact solution and each unit only needs, in theory, a single marker beside it. I like those. So that's what I think of these wound trackers by Lasercut Architect. What do you think of these as a solution for tracking wounds in war games? Do you think they're a good idea? Do you prefer your old counters or other counters? Have you seen any other novel and original solutions to tackling this particular aspect of tabletop wargaming? As always, I'll be very interested to hear what you have to say. But apart from that, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.